Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 25 of my Android development tutorial. Today, you guys are going to find out why it was such a good idea to subscribe to my YouTube channel, because over the course of the next couple tutorials, I'm going to show you how to develop for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and a ton of other things. So basically, what's going to be covered over the course of the next couple tutorials is I'm going to show you how to get the SDK, I'm going to show you how to use it, how to move the libraries around and get everything in working order. I'm also going to show you how to create a working emulator. We're going to cover a lot of the thought processes that go through using an outside SDK and exactly how to use APIs to accelerate your learning experience and to increase your ability to get an app done quickly. And on top of that, we're going to create a very complex paint application through which I'm going to show you how to create toolbars, use the Samsung S Canvas, retrieve images from a gallery, use toasts, use on activity result to receive data after another activity ends, use menus and use the Samsung animated multimedia message class and a whole bunch more. Oh, did I mention I'm also going to be giving away a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 to one of you guys out there. On top of that, I'm also going to be giving away not one, not two, but three Samsung Galaxy Gear watches. And this is all being brought to you because of the Samsung Smart App Challenge for 2013, specifically for the Galaxy Note, which is going on right now and will continue through November the 30th. And you will get a chance to win $1.1 million in that challenge. But specifically for my challenge, what I'm going to do to decide who gets to win the Galaxy Note 3 and who gets to win one of the Galaxy Gear watches is I am going to have you guys out there make an app and then do a video tutorial about that app. Of course, there's going to be bonus points if you make an app using the S Pen SDK, hint, hint. And I'm also guessing if a bunch of you guys make videos that the nice people at Samsung will allow me to continue to give awesome electronics for free to you. So with the Samsung Smart App Challenge, you're going to have the opportunity to win $1.1 million. And with me, you're going to have the opportunity to win the greatest phone in the world or one of three awesome Galaxy Gear watches. So I have a whole lot to do. So let's get into it. Okay, so I just thought I'd make certain that you guys know exactly how the Samsung Smart App Challenge is going to work. Basically, it's what's going to happen is you submit an app by going to this website up here, and I'll provide a link in the description for the video. And they are going to select 12 winning apps that best incorporate the pen package or look package in the Samsung Mobile SDK. And the winning entries, of course, like I said before, will receive a total of $1.1 million in prizes. So, pretty cool. Now on to how to set up everything and win some of the prizes that I'm offering. Okay, so basically, the very first thing you're going to want to do, and again, I'm going to have a link to all this stuff in the description, is you're going to want to download the SDK. And this is at developersamsung.com, blah, 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 just as you see there on your screen. Whenever you do that, you're going to want to go right here where it says download and click that and download it. Now, I've gone through all of this ahead of you guys to cut down on any of the bugs that might come about. One bug that may occur, and this is a bug that occurs with people that use Macs only, is whenever you download the S Pen SDK 2.3, you're going to see something like this. Basically, if this happens to you, you're going to have to have somebody with a PC download it and then give it to you. Like I said, this is something that occurs sometimes and it's a workaround. I'm also going to provide a link on my website to the working version of this folder setup. And that is going to look exactly like this. Now inside of it, we're going to have some sample little applications we're going to be able to work with. But what's really important is this libs folder, library folder that we have right here. If we open that up, you're going to see right here everything you're going to need tool-wise to start working with the S Pen SDK. And basically what you're going to need to do, let's just copy those guys. And I'm going to be using Eclipse, just like I always do. Then we're just going to go over here in our Package Explorer inside of Eclipse. We're going to right-click. We're going to go New. And we're going to go Android Application Project. And open that up. And I'm just going to call this Samsung S Pen Example. And I'm going to change this to my website. And I'm also going to change this right here to 14 Ice Cream Sandwich, just to make sure we don't have any problems at all. And I'm going to hit Next. 
and I'm just going to create this whole thing by hitting next, 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 and hitting finish. That is going to open up Samsung S Pen example, and those library files that I told you about are going to go in this directory right here, libs. So just click on that, right click, and hit paste, and there they are. And that is how easy it is to get everything inside of there. So pretty simple. And like I said before, if you have a problem with that directory being all messed up, I'll provide a link in the description for this video for where you can get it in its non-messed up form. But like I said, that's only if you have that issue. Now we get to exactly how we are going to create an emulator that is going to allow us to run this code. Well, basically, whenever I'm trying to create an emulator inside of Eclipse, I'm going to want to have device specs. And I'm just using the Galaxy Note 2 in this situation, which works perfectly fine. Now, as I'm looking at these specs, I see that the display is 5.55 inches, which is very, very important. I don't need to really worry about the camera and all that. And then I also want to cycle down through here where I see display, and I see here 1280 by 720. And then I'm also going to come down here and see that the RAM is 2 gigabytes and this is the memory and the micro SD slot and how much memory it holds. And that is basically all I need to be able to set up a working emulator. So just remember 5.55 inches and remember 1280 by 720. Well now I can jump into Eclipse and click on this little guy up here. And when I do it, I'm going to have a pop up and I want to first go in here to where it says device definitions. And I already created this, I'm 100% certain that it's going to work. And I'm going to use Galaxy Note 2. And if I hit edit on this, you're going to see the exact setup you're going to have to use for your device, your emulator. I called it the Galaxy Note 2. You can see right there, 5.55 inches, 720 by 1280. I turned everything on. Down here in RAM, I put 2048 megabytes. Of course, the size is going to be large. The screen ratio is going to be long and the density is going to be set for XHDPI. Buttons are going to be controlled by software and everything else here is great. Now that I have that set up, I'm going to go over into Android Virtual Devices and you can see the guy that I created right here. I'm going to hit edit, you'd hit new, and this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take what I created previously in device definitions and I'm going to use that as my device. I'm going to use Android 4.2.2 because that worked good. I'm also going to come in here and change this to ARM, hardware keyboard, da 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 da, RAM. I had to mess around with the heap to get that to work right. Everything works great now. Internal storage, 200 megabytes, and SD card, 1024. And of course, use host GPU. And that is how I set up the emulator to work so that we'll be able to test out all of this software. And in case you're wondering, this is going to actually be the app that we make. And yes, it does come as an example program from Samsung. However, whenever you see code like that, it's just not really commented. And sometimes you think to yourself, well, what exactly does this line of code do? Or what does this other code do? Or whenever you're using multiple different classes and multiple different layout files and multiple different images, well, how exactly do they work together? Well, over the course of the next couple tutorials, as many as it takes, I'm going to explain everything that goes into making a complex application like this from the ground up. So that is basically everything for now in this part of the tutorial. However, if any of you guys are out there trying to figure out well, how exactly am I going to work with the S Pen SDK? Well, what I did, or how I learned about how it works, is I went to this website right here. Again, I'll provide a link to it in the description. And this is the API for everything. And I just dug through everything you see here on the screen and all the example code, and I learned how everything worked. And if you want to win that awesome Galaxy Note phone, this is probably the next place you should go and start learning about all this stuff. But of course, I'm going to cover a lot of it in the tutorial. So I wish all of you guys the best. Start making those apps. Start recording those videos. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.